in this case study, we're going to take a look at an example of an issue that can occur if you have invalid certificates on your source Windows vCenter server and you try to perform a migration. So the particular error message that we're going to look at in the migration assistant.log is the error that says fail to discover a system name that is compatible with your vCenter server certificate. So you'll see this issue if the vCenter server or the SSO cert server certificate does not contain the complete FQDN. So it may contain only IP address, it may contain a different FQDN or short name. So to resolve this issue, you need to reissue the certificates with the correct complete FQDN and then perform the migration again. So that concludes this particular case study on invalid certificates that may prevent migration. I hope you enjoyed this video.